Will Joe Biden exit the presidential race? Will he bow out or not? That has been the big question out there ever since Biden's debate performance triggered serious concern about his re-election bid. Well, as it turns out, Biden dropping out of the race could be no longer a question of if, but when. Given how things have panned out for him, look at the tremendous pressure he is under with growing calls for him to drop his re-election bid. Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, just some of the names on a long list of those asking him to bow out. In fact, Biden has tried his best to inspire confidence, but clearly those attempts have not succeeded. Amid bounding pressure and speculation, the latest poll numbers also do not help his case. As per this week's Economist or YouGov poll, by an ever-increasing margin, Donald Trump is viewed by more Americans than Biden as the likely winner. This stands at 49% versus 26% this week. Just for perspective, there was a 19-point margin in last week's poll and that stood at nine points two weeks before. So it's an ever-growing margin and ever-growing concern. So basically, things are looking increasingly tricky for Joe Biden as per this poll. And there is more, by the way. 51% of Americans think Joe Biden definitely or probably should step aside in the 2024 election and allow another Democrat to run. Only 30% say he definitely or probably should not. Meanwhile, 88% of the Americans who want Biden to step aside cite concerns about his age, health or cognitive function. 88%. The question also is, if Biden does step down, if he does leave the race, who will replace him? Let me tell you that uh, there has been a lot of speculation over that. And uh, this poll also revealing among Democrats, Biden leads Trump by 87 points, while Kamala Harris leads by 81 points. Remember earlier, Biden had said that he will bow out of the race if the doctors ask him to, that he will drop his re-election bid if he is diagnosed with a medical condition, which also triggered further speculation. Some have even said that this makes the doctors the most important decision makers for which way things will go from here. In other developments, a crucial meeting was also postponed. The Democrats had earlier planned to hold a virtual roll call to push for Biden's nomination ahead of the Democrat National Convention in August. But there has been a change of plans, which again raises speculation over what this means for Biden's re-election bid. The party released a letter postponing the virtual vote. It will now be held after the 1st of August. What was the reason behind this? What's brewing within the camp? Meanwhile, there is a glimmer of hope for Joe Biden. Biden's campaign chair, Jen O'Malley Dillon, has put out a clear statement backing the president's place in the presidential race. Dillon acknowledged a quote-unquote slippage in support for the president, but insisted that Biden is absolutely remaining in the case. So what happens next? Will Biden bow out or stay? And is it a question of when he will drop out and not if? We will find out very soon. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.